Blake. So this is Blake. Blake's got again, I'm right there. Now, Blake, how long has this actually been a thing? Your whole life. 21, and look at what we're doing for him right over here. We're getting this pond done. And I'm Greg Whitstock, the pond guy. I normally film for Greg Whitstock, the pond guy, live in the Aquascape lifestyles, but this is our new channel, Team Aquascape, which is all about the construction of these water features. Okay. That's cool. Blake, back here. Yeah. This is a two acre exotic animal ranch, right? right. I mean, right. you got, what do you got here? You got goats, you got, you goats, got donkeys, tortoises, dogs, birds. The reason that I found about Blake is because I saw, unfortunately, what happened back here. He had all of his reptiles in the back here. You got a call that your place that got struck by lightning by one of the neighbors, yeah. right? Because he saw it going up in yeah, flames. Yeah. It was right after the storm and it was a giant fire. It was insane. So here's a kid that is living his dream. Actually, you know, just like I was a hobbyist with animals, but you actually took it to the next level that I did, yep. and you made a business around selling the animals. Yep, you actually animals. had all of your animals that you were just about ready to sell that were back here, yep. correct? Oh yeah, a lot of breeding. We gotta be careful of this pig, don't we? Oh yeah, the pig's my guard dog back here for all my tortoises. This whole area here was a fish gallery and a bunch of exotic turtles and tortoises from all around the world. That's a lot of them that I might not even be able to get again. Very expensive and rare and endangered. And there's a tortoise right there. Yeah, this is a cotter, right? Yep, that's a young female. Nah. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger. The community's really rallied around you. Thank I saw yesterday a baby Galapagos yeah, that baby you know somebody had donated. Yeah, my buddy Jason Abel's donated that to me. That was really awesome. So the reptile community's really come around this guy. I'm a pond guy, but I love reptiles, and so I was able to come out here yeah. and donate this water feature. Are you getting excited about oh, that? I'm turning this water off yeah. right outside your bedroom window, it's right? Awesome. I hear that every night. Well, I was exactly his age when I started Aquascape 27 years ago, and oh. now it's fun for me as the pond guy to come around and actually do these water features to get more people into the hobby. You're going to be living the Aquascape lifestyle. We're going to we're going to turn it into a turtle pond up there, right? Oh, we're yeah. going to put a thing. Oh, we're going to have you guys come back and do more stuff for sure, 100%. <laughs> All right, stay tuned. You're going to get to see this thing. Oh yeah, starting up, and it's going to be. Blast. Can't wait. This is your first time seeing this project, right? First time on the project. And here it is. We got this dug yesterday with the excavator. This is where at the end of the day, you're gonna have a beautiful Aquascape ecosystem water feature. Compliments of Aquascape and our certified Aquascapes contractor network. Right there, added where you're standing where the biofall goes. Okay. So we just gotta clean up this hole and do our thing. All right, so the team has arrived and we are just cleaning up the hole that we built yesterday. So, Ed, what are you thinking here? What Wes and I are setting this, what are you thinking? Well, that's gonna be our, bio our biological filtration system. It's gonna give us the adequate water quality, but what we gotta do is we gotta make it blend in and make it all work right as well as look right. So, what the idea is, we wanna turn it a little bit so you can actually see it when you start pulling up in the driveway as well as from that front seating area over there by the home. So we'll twist it a little bit. We also have the window over here, so we're gonna have- that, And that's Blake's bedroom right there. We gotta get some stone work in here because we gotta get some Oil. It's a little tight. But what I love about this design and the reason that I put it here is A, that's his bedroom right there, and B, everybody that pulls into that driveway and drives down that street, a nice sheet waterfall that we're going to do just one solid drop with an underwater light below it, so it's just going to glow at night. What do you think of that? Yep. All right, let's do this. So making progress over here at Blake's. Skimmer installed. We are getting a trench in for our two inch plumbing and we're also getting the excavation completed for our biological filter. This is a Biofall 6000. This is the larger one and that's gonna give us great water quality for this size water feature. So Weston, what do you what do you got going here? We're installing the bulkhead fittings, rubber grommet on the inside, plastic on the outside, a threaded fitting to uh, install our plumbing in from the back side. You can see it's got that Nice soft rubber gasket here where the water is. That's gonna create a compression fitting right there and that's gonna create a watertight seal. You can also tell that it's threaded on the inside for our plumbing adapter. This fitting 
We'll go in next with some silicone on the threads, just like that. Then we glue our pipe right into that. It's at 12.30, we started at 10.30. I would say that that is a pretty good, with 10 dogs running around, that's pretty good, Ed. What do you think? That's looking great. And we got Mount Fuji over here. Literally, we're about five minutes away from lunch. Okay. Normally, the goal is to have it filmed by lunch on a pond this big, but we didn't start till 10.30. Exactly, so we're in, we're in good shape. So what we gotta do is we're gonna try to finish up some of this edging work. Weston's ready jumping on the waterfall. Uh, oh yeah. Our skimmer's in, pump's hooked up, piping's in place. Tim just finished our uh, our overflow drain. We got a whole dug for that. We're getting lights in here. Everything's just coming together, but we also have a massive team of experienced people. Yes, we do. It's fantastic. Artists of the year. And look at that. Here comes the food, just like that. All right, we got the food, huh? Mission Barbecue. Mission Barbecue. And you know that place pretty well, don't you? Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Because <laughs> they own Mission Barbecue. All no, right. No, no. Oh, I thought this was from where you owned it. Yeah, I know. Okay, well, what do I know? I just build ponds. <laughs> <laughs> no, our, our restaurant's on the beach. Look at this bovine. His name is Moors. Hi, Moors. Probably lick the camera. <laughs> <laughs> Livestock started once I moved here, but I've always had tortoises. Actually, we lived at another place and I had goats and chickens at another property. Uh -huh. And it just kept on adding more and adding more. So then my parents bought me this place. So your parents have been very supportive of your dreams. 100%, yeah. Looking for wood. Yeah. A lot of small stuff. Yeah, cool. Falls on good tree. This is what makes every pond unique a work of art. One of a kind custom creation. If there's no other log, it's gonna be incorporated into a pond just like this one. We've reached that time of the day, getting right, ready for those final details. Auto dosing system's in, pump is in, biofalls is getting cleaned out, bio balls are going in, working on the edging, trimming everything up. We have a lot of soil to move. We gotta bring in some more gravel, just finish up some of those edges. Jack, what do you got? We are washing down, baby. That means we are getting so close to finishing this pond. We're gonna fill it up, fire it up, and see what this man has to say about it. So mom, are you proud of this boy? Yes I am, very proud of him. And I'm very happy with the pond. Isn't it turning out great? It is, it's awesome. My neighbor already came to check it out. Are you serious? He was happy about it. So you're actually interested in getting a duck pond, right? Yeah, something. These are just, I just have little kiddie pools around for them, but I think we make a like, nice aquascape pond for them, that'd be pretty awesome. Well, when we come back here to do something like that, we're gonna have to over filter it. We're gonna have to build a wetland filtration system just to handle all that duck waste. Oh yeah. But maybe something in this area, what are you thinking? That, yeah, in the corner somewhere, I think it'd be real cool. I think we should do that. What do you guys think? <laughs> So after everything that your family has been through mm -hmm. and you 
got to be super proud of your son for everything that he's created. For a manufacturer like myself that manufactures the equipment to come out here and do this for our YouTube channel, we got certified Aquascape contractors in from all over the country that came down for this thing. And this is a very unique, one of a kind, custom front yard water piece right outside the man's bedroom. So hey, mom, would you like to do the honors that you, sure. you gave birth to this kid? This is, this is turning on yes, the water bump for the first time right here. Press the button. Okay. All right. Here we go. Here we go. What do you think, bro? This is going to be very tranquil and relaxing. You deserve it with all the chaos that you've got going on here. Mom, thank you for, thank you for hosting us and being a great host. This was a, a lot of fun for us. I love doing this. I love my job. Hey, and if you guys want to see how we build these things, check out the Team Aquascape channel because we want to inspire more people to how to do on set right, customer serve right, and to live the Aquascape lifestyle. In fact, I got one more thing for you. This is your welcome kit. So everything that you need in here for your water feature, including fish food for there the core that you're going to be putting in here. This is for your and coffee I, in the morning. And there's, there's, there's your coffee. I love my Aquascape water feature, but this has got every bell and whistle. You got an automatic dose around here. You got a variable speed, four to 8,000 pump. We over filtered it so you can get more fish in there. I want to inspire more people to do what you do. I was the same age as him when I started my business and uh, you're doing fantastic. So I, hey, how about a hand for everybody here that did, did this, okay? Let's get a group shot, everybody. Woo!